Hi Stampers! Welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm really excited to show you the Abundant Beauty decorative masks that are in our new mini catalog. They are these masks. We have seven of them in the packet for $10.50. They're such a great value. Here are the ones right here that are backgrounds. We have this one that is just a bunch of leaves and then we also have one that is snowflakes and then this herringbone one. I want to show you how you can use these masks with so many different ways. The blending brushes are right here and with this one right here with all the leaves. So that was done with the blending brushes and I love how you can just circle around them. These are raised up so it stays in there. Another way you can use these masks Here's a snowflake one and I use the paste, the embossing paste that we have. And it does, it dries really quickly and is raised up. So that's a great option for your cards if you like that dimension. The herringbone is another one. And I just use the blending brushes with this, which makes a great background for your cards. Now let me show you the next one is my favorite is the sunflower. It comes with four different masks and this is the flower one. It's named number one. Then the greenery, the leaves number two, the center of the flower and the definition on the centers. So I like it how this, this has a little cross hat so if you want to line them up you can get them exactly where you want them. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. I love to put a little bit of adhesive on whatever I'm blending on so it doesn't move. Now I take my de decorative mask and decide where I want the flowers to be. The cool thing about this is I'm going to go ahead and tilt this right where that I want that to be. So now I can line up all the different ones with this, but I'm going to go ahead and tape this. So when I'm blending with the colors, it's not going to move. This is the lemon lolly and I'm using the smaller brush. We have two sizes, a large and a small. And I'm just going to take this and go ahead and swirl it around. I like to take the inside of the flower and really get a lot of color on the inside first and then go on the outside bigger. And the reason why I tape it down is it helps to not move the actual mask. Okay, I think I want it a little bit darker. You can even take some Daffodil Delight and make it darker in the center also if you want to double your color. Okay, so there we have the one. I'm going to lift this up. Now I'm going to take number two and line it up with that little V. And guess what? It fits just great with our greenery and our leaves. So I'm going to take that and go ahead and tape it down. We're going to use the brighter green, the Parakeet Party, on this one. I always like to take my blending brushes and all the greens use one blending brush. It doesn't really matter if you go lighter and darker. I just kind of clean it out by swirling it around with the color. Depending on how light or dark you want your green to be, you can always dab it before you go onto your item because you can always add more color but it's you can't take it away. So there's our leaves. Okay, love it. Then the center is the next one. We go ahead and line that up again with the little V that we started and I already have adhesive on there. Now I'm going to also do the green on the inside. I just want it lighter. Just going around in a circle. Okay, lift that up. Oh my gosh, it looks like the daisies from the grocery store. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this down. Now this goes on the center and you're like, okay, how is that going to work because it's the same color? Well, I'm actually adding another layer of green so it becomes darker. It's the same green, but you're covering up some and you're adding some. Look how amazing that looks. Okay, so that's how the mask is just by itself where you're lining them on top of each other. So I've done one here with this color combination. This is the Mossy Meadow Cajun Craze and Crushed Curry. That's what made this one and run it through and just give it a little texture with one of your embossing folders. 
So same exact mask, just done with different colors. Let me show you some other ones that are done and just done with the different color. I just used the solid part of the mask instead of the definition. So you can pick and choose. This one I love. It's got the texture from an embossing folder with those same color combinations, but I added a little early espresso to it to make it a little bit darker. This one is basically done on some watercolor paper. So you would go ahead and do the same thing that I showed you, just spritzing it with water after, and it just blends and runs the colors together. This is done on a piece of vellum. And the vellum right here, if you can see, I stamped just the same behind it and did this with regular ink just on the vellum and I spritzed it with alcohol and it also gave that texture, little bubbles, and it dries super fast. Now this, if you notice, when we're doing this, they're spread out. So I went ahead and blended this with our colors and I went ahead and used crushed curry and a little pumpkin pie on the center and in the center where it's darker, I used the Cajun craze. And then I added mossy meadow to the actual leaves on this one. And then I cut them all out and made it really, you know, a lot more advanced card. So you can do it super simple or you can go ahead and cut them all out. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the Abundant Beauty Decorative Mask with our blending brushes and other options that you can use with these masks. If you like any of these products, the link is below on these products. <laughs> if you like any of these products, if you like any of these products, okay. If you like the link below, <laughs> if you like these products, if you like these products, click the link below, and we'll see you next time on Watch a Weekly Wednesday.